strapping your feet onto a board and jumping over wakes at roughly 20 miles per hour can be difficult, but Oklahoma State's wakeboarding and water ski club members continue to rise. Within the past two years, it has grown from about 7 to 26 members. We try to incorporate as many people as we can. You know, I, like I said, you know, I've been in this club for about three years and I've met so many new people. The club members contact each other on social media to find a meeting time that works with everyone and rides out to Lake Carl Blackwell in Stillwater. Probably, I mean, every day if we can. I mean, it's, the problem is, is that we run into certain wind blocks that don't allow us to come out and ride because the water gets too choppy. The team includes recreational riders along with riders who compete locally and regionally. The team won first place last weekend in the South Central Regional Competition in Shreveport, Louisiana. One OSU wakeboarder spends his time on this wakeboard and cannot get enough of the waves, the water, and the sun. OSU senior Matt McCaleb has been on the competitive team for four years. He earned first place at regionals and another first place in competition this weekend in Baylor. McCaleb practices about four to six times a week at the lake or at the Wake Zone Cable Park in Oklahoma City. The cable park is a small lake that has an automatic cable around it with ramps and rails. What cable wakeboarding does for me is it gives me the opportunity to ride and learn all those tricks and then transfer them over to boat. Michaela is excited to finish his senior year on the OSU wakeboarding team with competitions. It's the best feeling in the world. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I could be doing. Wakeboarding obviously isn't going to make me a lot of money or anything like that, but it's my passion and it's the rest of my wakeboard family's passion as well. For O-State TV, I'm Courtney Brown.